inside that for most is beautiful and is natural. Me is an abomination. My maternal instinct. On my walk today, I had my first encounter with a pair of them. He, a lumbering palooka in a foul-smelling diving suit, and she, an unwashed moppet in a filthy pink smock. Her pallor was off, green and morbid. And it was a rather unpleasant aspect to her demeanor, as if she were in an altogether different place than the rest of us. I understand the need for such creatures. I just wish they could make them more presentable. One of the children came and sat in my lap. I push her off, I shout, get away from me! I can see the Adam oozing out of the corner of her mouth, is thick and green. Her filthy hair hanging in her face, dirty clothes. Suddenly I know, it is not this child I hate.
with their very long needles, their tuneless songs, their ghastly errands, their ghoulish Frankenstein fathers. But we've all placed our hand on the great chain of endeavor. My hand is on it. Fontaine's is on it. We all pull it and are pulled by it. Yes, these children are an abomination. But it is not my hand alone on the chain of created them. No. Their little fingers were right there next to mine. <laughs> But it is not my hand alone on the chain that created them. No. Their little fingers were right there next to mine. Dr. Su Chong, frankly, I'm shocked by your proposal. If we were to modify the structure of our commercial plasmid line as you propose, to have them make the user vulnerable to mental suggestion through pheromones, would we not be able to effectively control the actions of the citizens of Rapture? Free will is the cornerstone of this city. The thought of sacrificing it is abhorrent. However, we are indeed in a time of war. If Atlas and his bandits have their way, will they not turn us into slaves? And what will become of free will then? Desperate times call for desperate measures. Like a benign cancer, destroying native 
stem cells and replacing them with unstable stem versions. While this very instability is what gives it its amazing properties, it is also what causes the cosmetic and mental damage. You need more and more atoms just to keep back the tide. From a medical standpoint, this is catastrophic. From a business standpoint, well, Fontaine sees the possibilities. Unleash insects against groups of enemies. Attack lots of enemies at the same time.
father. It's what you like. What? I said...